guys, what's going on? It is Saul over at Sup Up, bringing you another Grill Memoirs video. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make the best cheat day burger you've ever had. Before we get into it, there's something I'd like to say. Over the course of my life, I've had several different meals, many of which have been for function, not flavor. I remember the days of scarfing down bland or unpleasant tasting food all for the sake of fueling my body nutritionally, ensuring it got what it needed to get what it needed to get done. I learned to embrace the suck, then embrace it some more. It's allowed me to build up the ability to chug and or scarf back disgusting tasting foods and supplements that would normally make most people vomit a little inside. In addition, develop a quiet disdain for people who say they won't eat something because they don't like the way it tastes. The upside is, this also made me appreciate tasty food way more than your average person, and possibly so much more. Sometimes I question whether it should even be allowed to get such elation from something like food. But here's the thing. Having to eat is somewhat of a bizarre gift and miracle. It's a necessity that maintains our very existence as earth-walking mammals, but a necessity that was also made to be tasty, quite possibly to ease the monotony of the daily task. Whenever I even remotely entertain this thought, it makes me realize that you've got to have a balance in everything and appreciate a lot of things. And when I first authored the Sup Up series, I wanted to create something that would get service members the nutrition they needed while being deployed and while on leave. Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition on the go was about keeping morale high when deployed. I think sleep, good food, and knowing what you're fighting for back home will keep that fighting spirit going strong. Now, Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition at home was all about celebrating life and being back home without going off the nutrition tracks. Without rambling, what I'm trying to say is, while there's plenty of ways to make food taste good, you've got to remember that when it comes to nutrition, your nutrition, you've got to learn to embrace the suck while enjoying what you put in your stomach too. These recipes aren't about trying to convince you to eat healthy by giving you a lot of what people may want, camouflage to make their journey to being healthy less painful. It's about showing those who are willing to admit that the journey is sometimes from the very first step, knowing that there will be suck to embrace. And depending on how far up or down the scale you are when it comes to level of fitness, there may be a lot of it. Because when it comes to nutrition and you know fitness, working out, and even fat loss, it's a mental game. And I think when it comes to cheat days, that's that's a way to maintain your mental health. You know, because a lot of people don't realize that dieting is really strongly linked to mental health. Okay, it's not about torturing yourself. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that there will be some suck to embrace when it comes to cleaning up your nutrition. And then there will be days where you get to enjoy yourself. And then appreciating that when you do get a chance to eat something that feels like you're cheating, you've got to remember to always keep at the forefront of your mind how it's going to affect your nutritional profile. Okay? So I'm not saying, you know, you should feel bad about your cheat days or anything like that. But what I am saying is nutrition is all about balance, you know? It's like eating is a necessity, but when it comes to actually enjoying food, that's kind of a, an art you can see you know you know that throughout the week you've got to eat the type of food that gives you the proper nutrition but then you also feel like you deserve to eat something really tasty one of your favorite things and that is absolutely fine because that's the mental health aspect you know it's like if somebody were to work all day and they didn't get a chance to wind down and relax whatever their relaxation time may be you know whether it's watching tv whether it's working on your car that you've had you know had as a project for a long time whatever also a special announcement, there is something new up in the Sup Up store. It is the Sup Up Noble Meal Planner. And you can pick that up today, actually. You can also get it as a bundle with Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition at home. All right? And if you get it as a bundle, you'll actually get the meal planner for a bit less. All right. But now that that's out of the way, here's a good burger. A smoky, spicy, Texan-style burger for you to enjoy while still respecting your nutrition profile. Tweak it as you like it, but try the original at least just once. I like to call this a Sup Up Texan burger. Let's get started. Uh, makes one damn good restaurant style burger prep time is five minutes tops cook time is 15 minutes total time is less time than it takes you to sit at the drive through at your local mcdonald's items needed a george foreman grill foil and an oven for the ingredients one steak burger now you've got two options here one you can put some pre-shake burgers from the store or two you can make one yourself from about 120 grams of ground steak meat one hamburger bun preferably wheat or optionally if you really want to make this a cheat go ahead and pick your favorite bun jalapeno peppers pre-sliced barbecue sauce ketchup one tablespoon of greek or greek style yogurt one decent cut of blue cheese one slice of matured yellow cheese your choice for the directions get your george foreman grill fired up the grill griddle combo ones are the best in my opinion by the way guys i just i really like these fucking grills it's not sponsored all right i've got one uh, in my place and i use it at least i would say on a weekly basis also, preheat your oven to its lowest temperature. Slide your burger onto the grill and let it cook for 10 minutes tops. 
While you're waiting on that, prep the following ingredients and set them aside. So one, cut your burger bun in half. Two, mix a good amount of ketchup and barbecue sauce together, depending on how saucy you like your burger. Three, mix your yogurt and your blue cheese together. All right, now that's done, put your ketchup barbecue sauce onto the top side of your burger bun. And put your yogurt cheese mix on the bottom side of your burger bun. Then put as many jalapenos on the top side of your burger bun as you like. Open up your foreman grill and put your slice of cheese on top of your steak burger when it's done to your liking. Let it melt while you prep some foil. I want you to take your burger off the grill, slide it onto your prep burger buns, wrap your completed burger in foil, and let it sit in the oven for a further two to five minutes. And that's it, you're done. Pretty straightforward, right? There's a few things to mention. And while I'm a fan of grilling outdoors and generally avoiding mentioning any products and brand names, like I said in chapter two of Sup Up No Bull Gym in a Bag Workout Guide, there are a few rare occasions I'll give a subtle nod to some things. The George Foreman Grill is one of those things. Like I said, I use it just about every week. It's not sponsored. I just, I love the grill. It's a great grill. Now, burgers don't have to be off the menu with the Foreman Grill because it's stupidly fast at grilling and it cooks your food without drying it out. And I like it because even though I make it my business to buy lean to extra lean ground meat, this grill really does a good job at removing any unnecessary excess fat from the meats. This also means if you pick up a couple of fresh pre-shaped burgers, you don't have to worry about fat content on it. Nutrition-wise, this burger gives you a good protein hit, while the jalapenos give you enough heat to get the blood circulation going. And by the way, use the slices with the seeds. Don't de-seed them. If you live in a cold climate, you'll understand how important this is. If you live in a hot climate, you'll know how much this can, when done properly, help you go. Now, if you read either Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition on the go or Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition at home, You'll know exactly what I mean when I say yogurt combined with blue cheese plus a good matured cheese provides you with plenty of nutritional benefits. If you haven't, well, you know what to do. The link is in the description below and up on the screen. There are also great cooling agents for the jalapenos. So you've got protein, fats, and calcium being just some of the more commonly known benefits. A wheat bun in particular helps with your GL. And the barbecue ketchup combo, well, this is supposed to be a cheat meal after all. Tweak the amount of ingredients you use to your liking and comment below to let me know how yours turned out. But yet, tag me on Instagram to show me. I always like to know how and if people put a creative spin on the grill memoirs I offer. And that's about it, guys. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, if you really like this video, but you don't have the Sup Up guides yet, go ahead and buy them over at the Sup Up website. The link is in the description below and up on the screen. Uh, they cost less than the shirt on your back, but unlike that shirt, the knowledge gain lasts a lifetime. Now, if you've already bought the guides, hey, thanks, then go ahead and check out the other gear in my shop. Uh, from nutrition supplements to apparel, you can pick up some whey protein for your next workout, new threads for that sleeve splitting arms day, or something else that'll help you remember that when it comes to fueling and training your body, once you learn how to, where you are matters less. Now, every item, the material, color, style, ingredients, and quality are all handpicked by me, so if I won't wear it, eat it, drink it, or read it, I will not sell it to you. It's that simple. If you go ahead and get the guides, you'll discover recipes with nutritional breakdown in each of the nutrition guides to make things nice and easy, and that's available under the snacks chapters, and previews of the chapters are available in the shop. Uh, with the workout guides, you'll get in-depth customizable workout plans with breakdowns of how to effectively and efficiently train your muscles no matter where you are. And all guides teach you how to eliminate worries or concerns about getting the nutrition and strength and conditioning you need to stay fighting fit for when you're deployed or at home. And that's it, guys. Uh, drop by next time for another great video to add to your workout and nutrition arsenal. And most importantly, stop doing guesswork. Start making the necessities of your life easier. Because if you know how to fuel and train your body, where you are matters less. That's it from me. Uh, have a great week, weekend, whichever. Uh, peace. <laughs>